Hey, what's up, you ungrateful perverts? Welcome no! back to another episode of Ginger No! Snacks. No! 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 What's we are, up? We're restarting. No, we're not. This episode. Wait, no, we're not. And I'm going to thank some more. Ah, that that's gonna get old. Uh, my favorite podcast does it at the beginning of every episode. I don't want to hear about the, your favorite. The Magnus podcast. Archives. Everybody, go check them out. It's a horror podcast, and it's really good. They okay. paid me 42 cents to say that. Man. Jonathan Sims himself. Yeah. Paid me money. That's not true. I'm lying. Jonathan Sims is the name of both the writer behind the Magnus Archives and the main character behind the Magnus Archives. Okay. And so sometimes I worry that when I tweet criticizing the main character, Jonathan Sims, the writer, is crying somewhere in London. Yeah. I think he's from London. I think he's Londonese. Londonese. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't respect people from London, and therefore I don't. <laughs> I don't. Did I tell you? You know I've never met a Brit I like. <laughs> Did I tell you when I was visiting? So I was visiting some good friends in Cornwall uh, this summer uh, with Bree. You're gonna have to let the general populace know what the hell Cornwall. Cornwall is, is uh, uh, the secret child England keeps hidden in their basement, like Cinderella. It's a wonderful place. England generally is not very nice to it. Cornwall is the is the is the Appalachia of England. Good people, great place, cool stuff. Um, the rest of the country ignores us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we need help. Please, please, please fix our roads. Um. Anyway. Hey. So. Please send national aid in the form of donating to our Patreon. <laughs> to Cornwall and we'll West fix Virginia. The roads. We'll fix the Cornish and the Appalachian roads for y'all. Um, anyway, so we're in England and Bri Not right now. No, Brie and I had to go through London to get to Cornwall. It was harrowing. And um, while we were there, Brie and I both had thoughts about the London accent, but we're not going to say anything because there's, no no there's nothing productive about making fun of... Anyway. So what ended up I, happening... But I'll do it. She came well, home and was like, No, I'm from wasn't. London. So we get... We get to Cornwall, and my, my Cornish friend is like, well, actually, they're not from Cornwall. They live in Corn they're Cornish transplant. They're from somewhere else in England. They're like, I have to show you something. So they take us to this little arcade uh, on the beach by, uh, oh, I want to say Nuki, but I'm not sure. Um, we're there, and, oh, Cooper. You walk into this arcade, and people think they know what game this is, but they don't. So you walk into this arcade, and there's a stand called the Hillbilly Shootout. Of course. And it's supposed to be West Virginia, and everything's spelled wrong, and there's moonshine everywhere, and the whole joke is that we're so stupid. We're just so dumb. And a lot of people say, oh, wasn't that, like, from this Japanese game company, and we have that game too? No, 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 no. You would think so. This is not the normal Hillbilly Shootout game. This was a Hillbilly Shootout game made by the people who own this arcade specially. Oh. Because the, the normal one wasn't mean enough. So he made it meaner, and I snapped. I said, all right, I'm going to say it. Everyone from London sounds like a Dickensian orphan, and no, I won't apologize. <laughs> Every fucking little London child I pass, oh, mama, <laughs> please, I want to pet. I'm sorry. I need my mommy. Yes, every fucking little kid in London under the age of 10 who spoke, I was like, Oliver? Like, I, I do yeah, you want some do, more? They do sound like orphans. <laughs> They sound like wayward orphans. And I won't fucking apologize. So I made a- You have nothing to be I sorry for. I made a post about it because I was like, oh, this is fun. The Londoners can laugh at West Virginians. The West Virginians can laugh at Londoners. Oh, you made a great Here's mistake. what I learned. If there's one thing London is known for, <laughs> it's having a great sense of humor and coming to understandings. Here's what I learned is that West Virginianers were happy to laugh at both Londoners and ourselves. Londoners were not happy to laugh at themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got- a lot of irate messages. And then, um, somebody literally oh, well, commented... Well, maybe you, are, you, maybe you think that about us from London because... Yeah. You, people because said... Because uh, fuck you. People said some heinous shit, dude. <laughs> like, I got messages that was like, I'd rather be from London where, like, uh... I, they brought up AIDS, Cooper. They brought up fetal Listen, alcohol man. syndrome. They brought, they brought up... Cooper? They brought... A Londoner messaged me because I made a joke about London kids sounding like orphans and West Virginia's being hillbillies. They messaged me 
making fun of us for opiate overdoses. It got Listen. dark! Okay, wipe the crumpets from your fucking <laughs> chin for a second. Cooper, they All don't right. have crumpets, they're orphans! <laughs> They're orphans. Not the Cooper. people messaging you. If you're if you're under ten, all children in, in London are born orphans. You're born without <laughs> parents. At age ten, I was born without parents. <laughs> no, when you turn ten, you're no longer an orphan. You get parents when you turn ten in London. <laughs> it's the trials and tribulations. And you you have to wear a newsboy cap and sweep chimneys if you're under ten in London. It's fucked up, I know, but at least they don't have opiates, I guess. That guy was right. He got you. <laughs> Anyway, so that is the lesson I learned. Sorry, London. Um, Sorry, London. We know that you've just gone through an awful lot and are not in the joking mood. I, I, okay, so I had two grievances with London because listening to the Magnus archives all summer, I was binging it right before, in the spring, right before I went to Cornwall, and I had to fly into London to get to Cornwall. And there was this, uh, uh, fucking... Uh Oh, also, sorry, the arcade game wasn't it. New Key was at St. Ives. Anyway, moving on. Um, when when I listened, there was always this advertisement for this, like, spooky London game. And the guy's accent, for a minute, I didn't realize he was really from London. I thought he was someone not from London pretending to be from London. And he'd be like, do you want to be a werewolf? Do you want to... Work in the underground as a thief. And I was like, no! No, I don't! I just want to listen to this podcast! And so I was, like, really worried if I went to London that everyone was going to sound like that. Of course. Because I've been to the London airport once before. It was a terrible experience. Not because I'm not just ripping on London now. There were unrelated reasons that it was a terrible experience. But, um... Um, I was there overnight, and it was, like, 4 a.m. No one else was there. But this time I had to interact with the locals. So that's why... I was nervous about it. Right. That said, um, Cornwall, beautiful place. Would definitely go back there. Um, I really appreciate all the fishing towns and all the crabs I ate. And, um, the fact that the water's so fucking cold there that instead of, like, bathing suits in Walmart-like stores, they just straight up sell wetsuits for the summer. I love cold water. I love the cold, so I had a blast. Also, did, did you ever even conceive of, did you even imagine toddler wetsuits? No. They make them. I saw little baby babies at the beach in their little wetsuits, and that really gave me some sort of power to make it through life. Aww. They're very cute. Um, well, that's nice. That's my piece. It on. makes you feel better. <laughs> Some days, those babies will feel unimaginable <coughs> sorrow and grief and pain. Well, they already Some do because they're, orf they're orphans. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's No, wait, so, no, 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 because they're Cornish. Cornish kids aren't born It's orphans. so nice that Mrs. Hannigan took them all to the beach in their little wetsuits. <laughs> in their little wetsuits. Mrs. Hannigan got them, on a uh, got them a trip to Cornwall? That's actually pretty great. I mean, every single woman who runs an orphanage is Mrs. Hannigan. Mrs. Hannigan. Why is, why, is our, why is our orphanage Mrs. American? Don't worry about it. It's not... Every person who runs an orphanage is an alcoholic that hates children. Yeah. Uh, that's the trope. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Oh, shit. Yeah, Miss Hannigan makes me mad because, like, she's got a sweet fucking setup. It is the- Especially during the Depression. It's the Depression. She has a warm place to live, food on her table, and all she has to do is be nice to orphans. <laughs> That's all she has to She's do. She's incapable. All she has to do is be not even not even nice. Just not commit atrocities against them. <laughs> yeah. She can't handle it. Oh god. Yeah. I would have loved Miss Hannigan's job. And most of the orphans, yeah, Pepper was like 14 and angry. But like Molly, oh you have to be nice to a sad six-year-old girl. Oh. <laughs> all right well that's all for today i hope you guys had fun um if you are from london don't comment on this episode we don't and if you do please try to hide your accent i don't want to hear yeah. it and fucking swallow the tea before you do Wait, i, 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 hold I on. <laughs> I hate the sound of tea swashing around a Londoner's mouth. That's actually another thing I saw was that people from England were like, you guys are just jealous because we invented tea. And I was like, I'm going to tell we're you about totally a- totally jealous. I'm going to tell you about a little country called China. 
<laughs> from whom you got tea. <laughs> and by the way, tea in American essential. 99% of Americans can't fucking live without well, it. Well, yeah, it's how we color our harbors. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, every year we celebrate the best tea party we've ever had. Oh, God. It was pretty lit. Yeah, um, this all said, no, I mean, I loved Cornwall. I just had to rip into Londoners because I tried to rip into Londoners and West Virginians, and it turned into three days of Londoners heinously <laughs> saying truly dark Horrible things about human rights violations in Appalachia. Yeah. All right. I'm like, oh, I don't like your accent. Yeah, well, people in Appalachia still have dirt floors, so take that. I was like, whoa! Okay. Uh, <laughs> this episode's gonna be region locked in Europe. <laughs> Goodbye. The, only the Irish and the Scottish are allowed to have access to this episode. <laughs> okay. We, we have a disproportionately small... Uh, English audience, actually. I wonder, I wonder why. Well, like, normally the way it goes for American YouTubers is the United States, uh, the United States, um, like, um, England, and then Canada. Yeah. But, like, England is really low on how our are charts. We, how are we doing in Bulgaria? I don't know. Bosnia? I don't know. How are we doing in in, in, in in Tunisia? I don't know. I have one friend in Tunisia who listens to us, so I know we've got one. Well, then we got some... Morocco? I don't know. I don't have the metrics in front of me. Borneo. How are we doing in Borneo? I dated a girl from Borneo, and she said they have orangutans there, and I would like to think they listen. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.